She grabbed the door jam with her toes and fingers as we pulled and carried her skidding body into the grown-ups' time conversation room. At the office, she stomped around, Rumpelstiltskin-like, her high heels clicking and resounding ten stories down. She held her arms around the trees, hugging them as they were cut. And she held on as the huge trees toppled to the ground. She would not let go of her childhood doll pressed close to her breast. As we tried to pry it from her fingers, we said, it's old, it's dirty, you don't need it anymore. She stopped until the floor cracked and we backed off and let go. She went down like a drowning ship at sea, still holding on to her childhood doll. 